Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the news at 8. Today, the 26th day month of May 2023. I am Grace Dawkins in Yekachi. First, the major headlines. Supreme Court dismisses PDP double nomination suit against Shatima. Focus on improving lives. Stop stealing public treasury. Papa and so wants politicians. International Monetary Fund taxes the level of revenue generation and debt reduction. We'll take our shares. We'll be right back with details and many more. Stay connected. experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation leading the way in high performance lubricants master supermode oil is as durable as titanium Welcome back now the details. Ahead of the elections of the next Senate President during the inauguration of the 10th Senate on June 13, 2023, a group known as Oji Uzokalu Grassroots Movement for Hamad Bola Tinibu has commended political leaders mostly in northern part of Nigeria, including Amias, for putting behind tribal and religious sentiment to support the aspiration of Senator Oji Uzokalu to become the next Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by next month. The group who made the commendation during a get-together for President-elect Senator Hamad Tinibu, which was organized in Abuja by a political group known as Asiwaju Amalgamated Support Group. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP has rejected the naming of the Second Niger Bridge by the Southeast Governors after President Mahmoudou Bwari. Spokesman of the group Ima Pafu in a statement equally described the actions of the governors as taboo. A political economist part Otomi has denied claims that the president-elect Bola Tinibu sponsored the elections of the Labour Party and Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. This is coming against the backdrop of a claim by a Labour Party candidate in Oyo State, Tafik Akinwale, that Tinibu asked Otomi to step down for Peter Obi in the build-up to the 2023 general elections. However, Otomi described the allegations as misinformation against him. A legal practitioner and social cleric in Ibehe F. Young has reacted to the Supreme Court judgment dismissing the disqualification of President-elect Bola Hamad Tinibu and Vice President-elect Shatima Kashim. F. Young claimed that the People's Democratic Party should have persuaded one of its aspirants who took part in the All Progressive Congress APC primary to challenge Shatima's double nomination. He said that the PDP made a serious mistake in its decision to challenge Shatima's double nomination by itself. The National Women Leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Beta Edu, has said that President-elect Bolahame Tinibu performed so well that Nigerians will beg him to run for his second term. Tinibu is built to be inaugurated as a sub substantive President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on May 29, 2023. While speaking in an interview with China's television, Edu said Tinibu has planned what to achieve for Nigeria in the next 60 days in office. The Supreme Court on Friday dismissed a suit seeking the disqualification of Kashim Shatima as the vice presidential candidate of the Progressive Congress for double nomination. A five member panel of the Appeals Court held that the People's Democratic Party lacked the local standing to institute the suit. The presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party and former governor of Kanu State, Rabi Musa Papanso, has urged politicians to build people rather than steal public funds. He gave this advice in Mina on Thursday when he served as the chairman at the inaugural lecture of the Niger State Governor-elect Mohammed. Bago. Edwin Clark, an elder statesman and former Federal Commissioner for Information, has urged leaders in the country to devote more effort to the promotion of peace, claiming that a lack of trust is tearing the country apart by the day. Clark made the remarks on Thursday at an event commemorating his 96th birthday at his private residence in Abuja, Asokoro district. A former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Atahiru Jaga, 
has said bad governance is responsible for the worsening security challenges facing Nigeria. He stated this on Thursday as the keynote speaker at the pre inaugural lecture organizing honor of Omar Bago Muhammad, the governor elect of Niger State. The International Monetary Fund has urged President elect Bola Tinibu, incoming administration, to take steps to broaden the country's revenue base. Ari Asin, resident re representative of the IMF Nigeria office, stated this during a visual forum on Nigeria's debt situation. He also advised the incoming government to drastically reduce resilience on debt to fund expenditures. According to Asin, resolving Nigeria's debt issues requires a focus on revenue and expenditure. One Ibrahim Abdullahi, age 27, has been apprehended for allegedly defying a seven-year-old girl named withheld in Ita's Gadu local government area of Bauchi State. The police in the northeast state has said that the victim, according to the police public relations officer in charge of the state police command, Hamad Muhammad Wakil, was deceitfully lured into a toilet at Central Science Primary School in Ita's town by the suspect and subsequently defied. While in sports, Manchester United coach Eric Ten Hag says his team has had a good season after qualifying for the 2023-2024 UFA Champions League. United defeated Chelsea 4-1 on Tuesday, May 25th at Old Trafford to seal the qualification sports. Casimiro, Antonio Marshall, Bruno Finadas and Marcus Rashford got on the score sheet for the Red Devils. Portuguese forward Joe Felix scored a consolatory goal for Chelsea in the 89th minute of the game. This brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, recap our major stories. Supreme Court dismisses PDP double nomination suit against Shatima. Focus on improving lives, stop stealing public treasury, Kwakwan so wants politicians. International Monetary Fund taxes to nibble on revenue generations and debt reduction. These and many more different platforms. Log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on our social media platforms. Being displayed on the screen, I am Grace Dorcas Unikachi. How about please and my interest the same?